you and my dad and my mom. That's none of your business. Well, I'm in the room. I have a right to be concerned. You don't get to weigh in. I'm going to. If it wasn't for you convincing my dad to have those heart surgeries, he wouldn't be alive. And you need to know how much I thank you for that. And don't let the door hit you on the way out? No, no, that is not what I'm saying. Look, I'm, I'm the first person to admit that I hated when you were married to my dad and I found out and you were rude and you didn't hold a candle to my mother. I've heard that song before. But I have seen up close how much you love him and how much he loves you. And you're good for him. You are. You brought him back to life, so... I'm... I'm just worried that your heart is gonna get stomped on. Because my dad's always gonna choose my mom. So... My advice is just to, you know, get out before you get hurt. Thanks. But your father's not the same man he was. He's changed. His needs have changed. I am the right woman for him now. You sound so convincing, I almost believe you. We'll see. Oh, there you are. Where did you go? Like you said, you weren't seats. Oh, you poor kids. Your mother summons you, and you automatically think that it's going to be some kind of a disaster, which sort of reinforces what I'm about to say. What is it? Uh, I've been talking to the doctors, and I've made a decision. And as much as I would like to stay here in Port Charles with all of you, I think that we would all be living in fear of me going into another relapse. And since I don't want to put you in that kind of turmoil, I am going to pursue my therapy and see if there is something permanent out there for me. Because I would really like a shot at a life, a real life. And I think that I might be able to find that in France. So that's where I'm gonna go. I was really, really glad to be able to be here for you when you needed me. Well, you did more than that. You saved my sanity. I mean, nobody knows how close I was to completely losing it but you. But you didn't. And you know why? Because you're strong. You're much stronger than I ever was. It's strange, isn't it? We both are on such separate paths, and yet we both ended up in sort of the same place, or on the brink of a new life. <sighs> I want you to embrace that life with everything in you. Don't ever be afraid to love again. I mean, not that I think that you have a problem with that, because I can see it all over your face when you look at that boy, Johnny. Oh. <laughs> do you really like him, or were you... You know, being nice. No, mm -hmm. I do like him. I think he's a very nice young man, and it's obvious to me that he loves you as much as you love him. Wow. Um, well, do you have any advice for me? <sighs> you know I do. Always trust each other. Always be honest with each other, mm -hmm. even when it hurts. And don't ever expect love to be perfect, because we're all just human. I think you and Johnny do have the potential to be happy together. And that makes me very happy. I'm gonna miss you. Oh, I know. I'm not gonna cry, and I'm not going to beg you to stay, because I want you to get better. Even if it means we're not living across the hall from each other. Oh, well, that's the good news, though. <laughs> that's how it has to be. Yes. And it's for the greater good. For the greater good. I go. Oh. Ready to go? Well, okay. Here we go. Okay. And 
And with a little bit of luck, I hope I will be seeing you all very soon. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll arrange a trip for all of us to come see you. Oh, that would be great. Bring the significant others and bring the children, please. We'll, we'll show Paris what a Spencer invasion really looks like. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, girl. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I can't do this. I can't say goodbye. Ugh.